This video will give you a short overview on how to clean your SS Brewtech Chronicle Fermenter. You can visit ssbrewtech.com for a list of cleaning agents and their recommended usage. Our goal here is to get rid of this mess. Begin by removing the lid. Then give the inside of the unit a light rinse. Open the ball valve and dump any remaining crew. Once the Chronicle has been emptied, follow up with another rinse. Next, remove all your hardware. Remove the racking arm from the inside. Then loosen your tri-clamps and remove the ball valves from the outside. If your Chronicle is extremely soiled, you can leave the hardware on and fill it with a PBW solution. Then let it soak for 10 to 20 minutes. Mix up some PBW solution to clean the inside of your fermenter. Once you have your PBW or other cleaning solution mixed, add your ball valves and other hardware to the bucket and let them soak. Remove the lid gasket then using a soft cloth or sponge, scrub the inside of the lid with PBW. Rinse the lid and set it aside. Then move on to the inside of the chronicle. Be sure you're not cleaning your stainless steel fermenter with any abrasives or scouring pad. If you have any stubborn spots that are not easily removed, it may be necessary to fill your chronicle with PBW and let it soak. Next, clean your components. We use a sponge to clean the lid gasket. We use a bottling brush and an airlock brush to clean the ball valves. It's a good idea to disassemble your ball valves from time to time. Click below to see our video on disassembling the ball valves. Once all your components are clean, give your Chronicle a final rinse Rinse your components, then dry it off. Once complete, it should look shiny and new. Thanks for watching and happy brewing.